I'm John Batchelor. This is the John Batchelor Show. Josh Rogan for the Washington Post. Observations by Senator John McCain on the news, the overwhelming news, of the firing of the director of the FBI, Mr. Comey, by the President of the United States. Josh, a very good evening to you. As I understand, the McCain remarks were off uh, were, were not for quote, but he gave you permission afterwards to quote be, uh, behind the scenes or off the record commenting directly about the Comey uh, firing. He did use what you'd have to say is a well-known proverb, but it's a little hard to interpret. There will be more shoes to drop. Good evening, Josh. What shoes? What centipede? Good evening. Good evening, John. Well, uh, Senator McCain was speaking at a meeting of what's known as the Munich Security Conference. It's a German government-run confab of officials, experts, and journalists that meets on a regular basis, this time in Washington, D.C., and it's strictly off the record, uh, and as a participant, I'm allowed to attend. Uh, But after John McCain made remarks just hours after President Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, I asked McCain uh, if I could use those remarks, and he said, of course. And uh, the remarks were more critical and more extensive uh, than the statement that his office had issued just an hour prior. Basically, what he said was that, you know, this is a bad sign for America, a bad sign for our democracy. He said that, uh, it, you know, while he couldn't be sure that President Trump was firing Comey in order to you know, cover up or obfuscate the, the Russia investigation, if that was the plan, it wasn't it wasn't going to work. He called the Russia investigation a centipede and said that there will be more shoes to drop. He said, based on his experience, that uh, this scandal, the Trump-Russia scandal, will have many, many more pieces that we simply can't be aware of right now that will become public and will shock us sometime in the future. And then he compared it to the uh, Saturday Night Massacre uh, when Richard Nixon uh, sacked the special investigative prosecutor, Archibald Cox. That's exciting, Josh. More to come behind the screens. Now, John McCain's committee, Armed Services, right, in the Senate, they're not directly involved in the Russia investigation. My memory is that McCain is chiefly involved in defending the people of Ukraine because of Russia's aggression and annexation of Crimea. And I believe he's also involved in decision-making about Syria and the Russian collusion with Assad. So these remarks, he can't be speaking from personal experience. He doesn't, he doesn't call witnesses for the Russia investigation. Is there any, any guess or any hint on him where he's going with this? Well, uh, a couple of things. You know, Senator McCain, in his capacity as Senate Armed Services Committee chairman, has been holding a series of hearings uh, to look into Russian interference in the 2016 ah, Russian, election. the Russian meddling he has been investigating. Exactly. Right. He, he's he's in on that part of it. He's not necessarily part of the, the the collusion part of the investigation, which is handled mostly by the Senate Intelligence Committee and then partially by Senator Graham on the Judiciary Committee. And then there's other committees doing other things and et cetera, and the FBI investigation and you name it. But John McCain was not trying to tell us that he had secret information that he wasn't able to share. He was saying that as a statesman and as a decades-long lawmaker and as someone who has been through more than his fair share of Washington scandals and crises, seen them from the inside, from the outside, from every side, that it was his um, unmistakable predictions, his feeling that this scandal is going to get worse for the Trump team before it gets any better, based on all of the available evidence. To the level of a constitutional crisis, you referenced the Saturday Night Massacre. Immediately after that, Josh, I was a younger person, but I can read the New York Times again all these years later. Immediately after that, constitutional crisis was part of the conversation. The House in those days was entirely Democratic, as was the Senate, so they moved quickly in the House Judiciary Committee to impanel people to investigate for impeachment. That is not now the case. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rough match, Josh to say Saturday Night Massacre and this present occasion, given the the profound differences in the makeup of the Congress? Well, of course, and also the Trump-Russia scandal is nowhere near uh, where the uh, Watergate scandal was at that time. I mean, but, you know, there there are parallels. What McCain is trying to get at is that 
you know, not only because the Congress is so different, but also because our politics are so different that, you know, he believes that in a lot of people, more and more lawmakers are coming around to this, that there needs to be some sort of special investigation uh, to get to the bottom of this, that none of these committees investigations uh, can really be seen as the last word on this issue in a way that's credible with the American people. He was the first Republican to call for what's known as a, a select committee uh, in, in the in the Congress. Right. That's the lowest bar. That's the one that that would be made up of both up parties and stuff. members of the Senate and the House. If I recall how the Iran Contra that's was right. put together. Yes. Exactly. The leaders choose their members. It's roughly the last one we saw was the select uh, committee on Benghazi. It didn't go that well. These tend to be hyper partisan affairs more recently. But at least that's one that doesn't need the administration to sign off on. If you want a special prosecutor, that would have to be appointed by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Doesn't seem likely. And if you wanted a special commission on the scale of the, you know, the Watergate Commission, the 9/11 Commission, that would require a bill to be signed into law by President Trump himself, which seems basically impossible. So the select committee is seen as the the one that's most achievable. But Mitch McConnell made it very clear uh, this morning that he's not into that idea. John McCain is a senior member of the Republican Senate, and they have the power to act pretty much what they want if they're going to investigate this. Is it your sense that he doesn't enjoy approval from his other senators? Does he? Because heretofore, Josh, you'd have to say that Lindsey Graham and John McCain have pretty much been a universe of their own when it comes to the Trump administration or the Trump campaign or decisions made about Vladimir Putin. They're a world unto themselves. Are they gaining support? Is there any sense that McCain is having members call him up and say, we're with you now, Senator? Yeah, I mean, let's re let's reflect for a second on who John McCain is, right? Not only is he uh, amongst the last of the senior statesmen left in the Congress, uh, the, the end of a generation of, of, of politicians and lawmakers who really – set the bar high for decades. He was the 2008 Republican presidential candidate. Right. We don't hear from Mitt Romney, so as far as that, most many are concerned, he's the standard bearer. He represents not only that, but a large part of the you know, Republican establishment, the community, uh, who are much more upset with Trump than your average Republican backbench senator will admit. Uh, so every senator is making a calculation of how much to give the Trump team and President Trump himself the benefit of the doubt versus how much to stand up for what they believe is right in their principles. John McCain just has the luxury of not having to care about any of those trade-offs because he's reached a point in his career and in his life where he's got nothing to lose, and he happens to be at a, a, like an amazingly you know frank guy who, at his age, just doesn't really think a lot before he says what he feels, and that makes for, you know, interesting quotes. But I, I do think that although he's there aren't many Republican senators who will say they agree with John McCain. There are a lot of Republican senators who, in their heart of hearts, do agree with John McCain. And his voice is important. It's not winning the day. Mitch McConnell has the power, but he has the moral authority, if you, if you will. Josh Rogan, writing for The Washington Post, comments by John McCain about the Comey firing. I'm John Batchelor. This is The John Batchelor Show. <laughs>